Hey, that was a video I made while I was in New York a few weeks ago. Sorry I haven't been around for a little while. We moved to a new house, things have been crazy, but I wanted to give a, a breakdown of how I shot that night, what I shot on, how I did all of it. So, it was with the C200, this setup right here, this beastly setup, and I shot all of it in the Canon RAW light. So, big uncompressed video files, and you know, a lot of people have a hard time like figuring out how, like how, how would I even edit that and I kind of had the realization over having this a year now um, that I wanted to transcode all of my raw footage if I ever chose to shoot in raw so you could do this in Adobe Media Encoder or I like to do it in DaVinci Resolve I converted all of the 4k raw into ProRes 1080 422 HQ I always do that so that it just edits like butter in Premiere. Um, and and then on my export, I export it and up-res it up back to 4K. And it's really hard to see a resolution difference, even with uh, transcoding it to ProRes 1080 and then switching it back to 4K. So that's what I do with that. I use a Rec 709 LUT to get it back to normal colors and then a Creative LUT at a lower opacity on top of that to get the color I want. I actually made a mistake by just bringing this 16 to 35 f2.8 out that night. You know, it's not ideal to shoot in low light with a lens that's f2.8. You want something like a prime that opens up to 1.4 or 1.8. But I just went with it. I rolled with the creative uh, limitations and decided to just crank ISO up. So if you see noise in that footage, that's what that is. Uh, discoloration or noise, graininess. I didn't choose to do any noise reduction, which you can do in something like uh, DaVinci. Yeah, I just wanted to make this quick film um, and just do something more creative. I love doing street photography and this just felt like the video form of street photography. Uh, so all of the noises that you heard in the film were actually the scratch audio that was on the C200, which is this NTG4 Plus, and it's just mounted straight to camera, going right into the XLR import in the camera, capturing all that scratch audio. You have a monitor off to the left on the C200, but it's really dim, so we like to put this uh, small HD 
a 702 touch, I believe is the one it is. And uh, then I can see all of my scopes and my exposure and I could put a LUT over it to just make it look how it's going to look. And then you might be wondering what this big old fat thing is in the front. This is a matte box and it's made by uh, Polar Pro. They sent this to me a while back to test out and have, and I love it. I have the newer version, which has two slots in it. So I can put variable ND in one of the slots. I mean, you might be going, well, if you, C200 has uh, internal ND, which is true, but it only has hard stops, uh, five different ones. And so to get in between, you either have to be changing your iris, your aperture, or your ISO. And I like to keep it at native ISO with 800. And so being able to just dial in that variable ND in the map box is really nice. Now, when it gets too dark, you just pull that slide out. And then the second slide has the mist filter in it, which is really similar to like the Moment Cinebloom or the Pro Mist. Uh, from Tiffin, Tiffin, yeah. That's why you get those blooms on the light and just kind of that dreamy look. And so, yeah, just wanted to give you the breakdown of what this was. I hope you enjoyed the film and yeah, I hope to just be doing more stuff like that with the C200 in the future. I wanna be making more films at home. One of my next videos is gonna be really, really intentional and emotional and stuff. Yeah, I didn't mean to share this in this video, but it's, I don't know, like it's, there's just been just a lot of change in my life recently and um, yeah, I might be dealing with some serious health stuff and I just don't know what that all looks like right now. Uh, my ankle's been really bad over the past six months with running, so that's been kind of feeling, making me feel a little depressed. So it's just nice to get out. I was out there with Steven that night and it was just nice to like get creative again and like I just wanted to be able to share that with you all. If you could just be thinking of and praying if that's something that you do uh, for me during this time, I'd really appreciate that. And uh, yeah. I love you guys. I love your support and how much you've just helped me turn this into a career. And I just really, um, I'm really thankful for that. And I really thank you guys for letting this be what I get to do um, and how I get to support my family. So thank you. Um, and I'll catch you soon. Bye. At the side of morning,